Hi, I'm Kirsten Holmes, and here's what's happening. Sacramento police have released investigation records from the Stephon Clark case. Those materials include video and audio from the night of the shooting, crime scene photos, dispatch call logs, the autopsy report, and a whole lot more. It's about 600 pages long, and you can find the whole thing on our website, abc10.com. And a former Stockton wrestling coach will spend four years in prison. This after kidnapping a 16-year-old student. Philip Magaya was the focus of a nationwide manhunt last summer. In court, he apologized to the parents of the girl, saying he was only acting out of love. And Front Street Animal Shelter is launching a new program that lets you adopt a shelter dog for the day. It's called Doggy Day Out. You can take a dog out for an adventure like a coffee day, some shopping, or to the park. Organizers say there is already a waiting list. All right, so how is the weather shaping up for your Thursday as we get ready to celebrate Friday tomorrow? Let's check with Rob. <laughs> And you always want it to be today, but yeah, Friday is always in the distance, right? We're getting closer to the weekend, and this is what we have today. We're going to have some sun, we're going to have some clouds, beautiful day out there, but you know what? Just you cannot rule out a stray random shower before the day is done. So it's not going to be everywhere. Let's just say you get hit with one 10, 15 minutes, and then it's out of here, and it's not going to be very heavy like what we saw yesterday in some locations. The snow is going to linger. I think we're going to end up with four, maybe six inches before the day is done. So going into the afternoon, a few spots body showers, especially for the foothills. Friday overnight, again, we may get uh, something random left over, but the theme is clear, is that we are drying out down low and up high as well. Look off the coast for early Saturday morning. We've got one more storm that's moving through Saturday morning, drying up into the afternoon. Then Sunday and beyond, we're mostly dry. We've got one little thing there on Tuesday, but watch what happens next week. 60s, mid 60s with sunshine. It's going to look absolutely beautiful. It's going to look and feel like spring. And remember, the time change is this weekend.